female assassin to try and kill us. Clever, but it won't work. We're immune to your feminine wiles. Unless you want to date one of us. Female? I'm not a girl. Jeez. I just have light red armor. How is that pink armor anyway? Looks comfortable. At first, I really hated it. But it's kind of grown on me. My old armor used to chafe my thighs something awful. But the crotch in this pink one is surprisingly roomy. Silence, woman. Good. Good as noodle. How could this have happened? Eh, it's okay, sir. It was a strong plan. Griff's just a dumbass. Hey, I'm using your cerebral cortex. Settle down, ladies. We need a new stratagem, and we need it fast. Donut's sure to crack under the pressure and reveal everything. Everything like what? Where we keep his tampon? You're right about that, Simmons. The boy doesn't even see the entertainment value in being tortured. Oh, these kids today! How's it going, Tucker? We get any useful information out of the prisoner yet? I figured he was here to steal back Lopez, but he won't give us anything. Except a list of crockpot recipes. Would that be useful? Do we have a crockpot? No. Caboose made a trade with that annoying guy from Blue Command. He swapped it for a mystery box. What was in the mystery box? 140 jars of mayonnaise. Well, that's a good trade. Yeah, Devils is a great sunscreen. How did you... Never mind. Listen, I think I came up with a plan for how we can use Lopez and our new prisoner to get an upper hand on the Reds. The plan does not involve mayonnaise. Damn it, I knew there would be a catch. That was fun. Okay, okay, your turn. Truth or dare? Hmm. Truth, okay. Tell me all of the red secret plan. Aw, oh, you tricked me. You blue guys are so smart. Okay, now listen closely. Our biggest secret is... Caboose, it's me, Church. I possess this guy so we can... Woo, hey, this pink garb is kind of comfortable. Roomy, what were you two guys talking about? Oh, nothing. You want to braid each other's hair? Hello, Inferior Red Squad! We would like to talk to you about... Take it heck! Shut up, you idiot. We're not here to fight. We're here to negotiate. Hey, sneak negotiation! What the... No, no! What is this? I think he's talking to you. We, uh, I mean they, would like to negotiate a surrender to us. Go to them. No, wait, no, no, that's right. To them. To us. Oh, smooth, dude. What's this business? The blues are giving up? I smell a trap. Or a rat. Or a rat in a trap. Don't accept it, Simmons. You can't surrender, Blues. We haven't attacked you. Now go home and wait for us to attack. Then you can surrender. Wait, if we accept, that means we would have two surrenders and they would have none. That means we win. Win what? I, I don't know. The war or something. Right? You're an idiot. In exchange for not killing us, they, them, we, they would like to release the robot guy and me. The pink guy. Are you becoming retarded? What should we do, sir? I'm torn between my intense distrust of the blue team and the need for the plan stored in my favorite robotic creation. No offense, Simmons. None taken, sir. You removed the negative emotional center of my brain and implanted it in Griff. <laughs> I can't. I just can't take this. We're all gonna die. <laughs> I don't think they're going for it. Oh, motherfucker! Okay, now you're under attack. Go ahead and surrender, bitch! I was thinking, Simon. The humanity! Alright! They surrender! Fuck that! I'm pissed! Let's fight! Now that you have been thoroughly humiliated by our superior military strategy, we demand the return of our robot and our pink private! Okay, but there's one catch! What in Shinola? Sarge, they want you to build two robots for their team. One for each prisoner that they're releasing. Hey, that wasn't part of the deal! Why exactly are we negotiating with Donuts? Church, why do we need two robots? You know... One for me, and one for them. Oh, man, don't tell me you're doing this for Tex. You're still in love with her, aren't you? Get off my back, man. Most dead chicks aren't exactly lining up to haunt this dirt hole. Besides, if I don't get her a body, she's gonna steal mine anyway. Yeah, good point, bitch. All right, you blue scum suckers. What robot models did you have in mind? I guess make them just like Lopez. Except, you know, just the shell, no intelligence. These two robots sound much nicer. That's because they sound like you. Oh, and no Spanish! And they make a switch! Okay, we got a deal. Meet us in the center of the canyon at 0600 and we'll make the exchange. Deal! Okay, I gotta hurry back before Lopez and Sheila suspect anything. Make sure this pink guy doesn't run away when I leave. I mean it. I'll meet you guys back at the base. <laughs> God, geez. What the? Where am I? We were just talking to your friends. But you are going to stay with us now for a while. Are we going to have a sleepover? Because that would be sweet. You're a nice 
lady. All right, guys, I... Sheila? Lopez? What the... Why do people keep leaving? Oh, blue team! Before you go, maybe we should talk about optional equipment on your new robots. What optional equipment? All you said you wanted was a body. We didn't talk about features. Like what? You know, undercoating, extended warranty, features, man. Come on. Like, do you want them to be able to use both arms at once? Of course. Asynchronous arm movement is... optional. What? Oh, man, I told Church they would try to screw us. What about the feet? Did you want feet? Yeah, we want feet. Sorry. Feet are optional. What's on the bottom of its legs? Legs are optional. Oh, man, what a ripoff. Options are optional. What isn't optional? You look like a nice guy. Don't worry, we'll work something out. Have you thought about financing? How's your credit? I can offer you a free set of high-quality mud flaps.